Firstly, again, I'd like to welcome you and thank you for coming to Barrow for this presentation and to present the uh, public hearing on whether or not the polar bear should be listed as a threatened species under the Endangered Species Act. We Inupiaqs are inseparable from the land and from the ocean and everything that is associated with it. What happens to the polar bear, what happens to the other wildlife affects us profoundly, as it has for centuries. And it, we hope to see it continue for centuries. Like the Fish and Wildlife Service, we believe in carefully monitoring and managing the animal populations and responding when their patterns of life are disrupted. And I want to say that again. Our people have survived up here through a balanced relationship with all the animal species. We depend on the whale, the, sea, the seal, caribou, and polar bears, and all the other animals, not just for food and other practical uses, but for our cultural stability that we get from living our subsistence way of life and then passing it on to our children. So we watch out for the animals and we care very deeply about the animals because they make our life possible. And that is the connection. It's what you might call our circle of life. And that circle is unbroken only if all the resident populations are healthy. And that includes the polar bear. And of course, then that includes the people within. I heard a little bit of comments in, in the question and answer period. And I know there are people like me tonight who are feeling like we've been here before. Feeling a little deja vu. Didn't this ghost come here before us? Before? And that's because we remember a time when we got caught, we in your past, in our way of life, in the global debate that landed right in our hands, up here. That was 30 years ago, and the debate was about whales, the bowhead whale. We weren't responsible for the perceived problem, but man, did we ever pay the price. Our way of life was disrupted because some scientists felt comfortable with their number that said there were 700 bowhead whales. When we knew better, but our voices were not listened to. And it took us millions of dollars and years of scientific research of the highest credibility before the world came to a truce over that issue. And I want to repeat again millions of dollars and years of time. And those dollars were our dollars, the people's dollars from the North Slope Borough. The onus was on us to prove otherwise. And that's why our science had to be the best in the world that could stand up to international scrutiny and have the credibility that it does now today. And those dollars that got spent verified what we, the Inupiaqs, have been saying all that time on the, stat the true status of the bowhead whale. And again, I feel that once again we are caught in the middle of a global debate. It's right here. It's before us. The polar bear is not the real issue. It is a symbol of a debate. Yeah, we apologize. Is there a crisis in the polar bear numbers? That's a question I would ask. Is there a crisis in the polar bear numbers? If so, what's the basis? And that is something, and you've heard a little bit about it already, that is something that needs to be studied further. 
The crisis is climate change, which is a very real issue and one that concerns us very deeply. Again, let me say that. The crisis is climate change, which is a very real issue and we are concerned about it. The polar bear is the poster child for that issue. We have seen plenty of indications of global change, climate change in our sea ice, in our coastal communities, in the erosion, in the weather patterns. And there is real good reasons to be concerned. But the solution to climate change doesn't start in the Arctic. You can't fix it here. I know that native subsistence, and that's an issue that is all very near and dear to us that live here, born and raised here, that native subsistence hunting is protected in the Endangered Species Act, they know that. But I'm also told that a polar bear listing could lead the Fish and Wildlife Service to clamp down on current hunting practices and even suspend them to protect the species. That seems like a weakening of the legal protection that we currently have. And that gives me a lot of heartburn. Remember what I said, it's not the polar bear. The issue is climate change. And yet we are, look, we are the ones that stand to lose the most again. Currently, as mayor of the North Slope Borough, I'm not prepared now to take a hard and fast stand on the polar bear question at this point. I am prepared to tell you that we simply cannot afford the cost of dealing with all of the administrative effects of a listing. And again, I refer to our short meeting we had this afternoon, Tom, where we talked about the issue that I want to point out here so it's clear on the record. It is one more cumulative impact that is placed on us by our own government. And quite frankly, we are tapped out of human resources because of oil and gas activity both on land and offshore. Okay, we have some operator on the line. <laughs> Doing the best I can, okay?